definitely did not get ready for you today. Here is my my socks. <clears throat> Why is my foot shaking? Are from Target last year. They're cozy, they're comfy, they're pink. We're loving it. Um, <clears throat> jail outfit, aka green sweater and green sweatpants. Urban sweatpants expensive, but I wear them like every night, so worth the $40 that I spent on them. And this sweater, I don't know, probably ASOS a couple of years ago. Blue like glasses, Amazon, best purchase ever if you're feeling like shit or you feel like you look like shit and you want to like look better. I am holding Super Goop lip balm with 30 SP, SPF and with acai. So I've been using Super Goop uh, SPF a lot lately because um, I wanted it because it's very in trend right now. So I bought it. Actually, no, I didn't buy it. I asked for it for Christmas. Christmas. No, I didn't even ask for it. I just mentioned it to my mom about how there's like this new SPF going on that everyone's about. <clears throat> and because she herself is very SPF um, uh, <clears throat> passionate, she bought it for me for Christmas, like a little like set. And it works really well. It's really, really nice. Feels good on your skin. Um, the only thing is though, I think I, little, I put a little too much on the other day and it got in my eyes and they started like watering for like an hour. And my friend gave me like eye drops and like eye medicine to make it stop. So I don't know if I'm allergic to the SPF or if I just need to be a little bit more cautious on how I put it on. Um, but yeah, I, I put out my first vlog uh, in a while yesterday with me just like chit chatting, looking like a piece of crap. And I wanna keep doing it until I'm, I'm going to be editing the London vlog tonight. There's probably gonna be like two different parts of the footage that I got over the past um, three months of being there. Um, and then what I'll be doing kind of bef like until I go abroad again is, um, sorry, acid reflux. <laughs> I burp a lot. It's really cute. If you know me, I do it all the time. Um, if I, oh, I just realized this is tilted. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> when I go abroad next time, I'll be doing more vlogs. But I think for now, while I'm at home bored with like, you know, just work to do here, I'm going to be doing a lot of like talking vlogs, kind of like things that I wish I told myself when I was in my 20s, um, things that I've learned, things that I haven't learned yet, uh, dating advice, dating stories, uh, boredom, um, <laughs> uh, mini trips like across America. So I'd love to go to New Mexico, uh, Colorado, Montana, uh, upstate New York, um, Texas. I might go to Florida because we have another house there. Um, this tilt is really bothering me. Hold on. Literally. <clears throat> there we go. A little bit better. Oh, my baby just woke up. Oh, she's back asleep again. But yeah, so there's going to be um, more content over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try and do a daily vlog once a day. Um, you know, if there's nothing going on in my life, because let's be honest, with COVID and living in my parents' house during a panoramic, um, <laughs> you know, there's really not much to do. When I was abroad, it was a bit different, but again, I told you I had a tech issue while I was abroad, so I couldn't really upload daily vlogs, but I'm going to start doing that because I would really like to grow this YouTube channel in the next year, I think. Um, it's a content that I do enjoy, but I just have to remind myself to do it every day. So if I'm doing it more constantly, even if it's shorter videos like this where I'm just talking to the camera, I might be more inclined to post a lot more and so that when I do have content where I'm uh, traveling and, and the images, images, you know, like the, um, the content is a little bit more interesting, it would be easier for, I would just be so used to already um, like editing and stuff that it might be easier for me to do and less intimidating. So going to try and find a way to put that into my schedule, but yeah, you, <clears throat> When I have um, a boring life, I'm, I'm vlogging more, which is kind of sad, but you know, I want it to be the opposite, but I think I need to start vlogging these moments more, talking more to the camera in order to get to the point where I'm putting all moments um, online. And <clears throat> if you're a male and if you're going to be rude and comment on my appearance, like, please, this channel's not for you. This channel's for like girls only. Like I, um, I, I think I mentioned in my video yesterday, like, 
you know, the amount of times I got some rude comments on one of my videos um, the other day about like me just being ugly, like or a four out of ten, were just like mind blowing, and it really actually like hurt my feelings. And I know they're just trolls on the other side of the camera, but um, like fuck off, <laughs> like that's <clears throat> not okay for you to say to someone. I like, you know, oversharing is kind of like my thing, and I like posting content and capturing moments and I like documentation. I did a documentary in film school um, what, like when I was uh, graduating so like it's just in me to document things and like share them with people. Um, I've had people like tell me I share too much and that's fine. I really don't care. Um, I was born with a twin and I just don't, I'm just used to sharing everything with someone so it's hard for me to kind of filter myself sometimes. <clears throat> but either you love it or hate it um but i just want to like cool people who are kind and nice and and um friendly to follow along on whatever journey this is which is just my life um i think that you know like youtube is really cool to just you know one day have my <clears throat> kids or my grandkids be able to watch and be like wow my grandma was more boring <laughs> or like you know be able to watch and be like oh she was you know she got to travel and see the world or oh she went through covid like what was that like or you know like she struggled with what i struggled that was cool or in you know 200 500 years and people are looking at this being like you know they had this whole like youtube thing going on so i love watching like old films of people who like uh, in the 1920s, 18, oh, it's amazing. So anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting for today. Oh, and someone asked me yesterday, like about, um, have I been to a gastro, <clears throat> and to, um, gastro doctor, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name right now. And yes, I have, in over the past 10 years, I've suffered with stomach issues. It's always gotten to the point of, either you do a FODMAP diet and you figure out what's triggering your, um, Know, triggering you or we do a colonoscopy and um, I know the colonoscopy is like the only thing they can get really really any um not evidence but like information that will help them kind of like diagnose whatever my stomach issue is but I am terrified of being put under um and so that's why I've avoided it, avoided a colonoscopy for 10 years um which I know I shouldn't do so I've been talking with my mom and she said that they don't put you under that they give you like sedation drugs and that it's a great time and um so I might do that because I have to get my wisdom to that one day and I gotta get do that I wish I could just do it all at once but I've avoided solving my stomach issues for 10 years because I don't want to be put under um and I have no desire to do a FODMAP diet which if you know what that is it's like you eliminate like everything from your diet no caffeine know anything and then you slowly bring back things in one by one to see if like your stomach reacts to certain things and i just don't know how that would be possible you like wake up you only drink water i think you only eat like white rice and then you slowly bring in something else and then you slowly bring in something else and i just don't know how that would be possible but i would like to do one of those food intolerance tests and I asked for it for Christmas and I haven't gotten it yet. So um, maybe I'll just buy it myself and get it over with. Girl, we got a delivery. Let's open it up together, okay? No, you can't. You, what do you, what do you have to say? What do you want to say? What do, you, what do you need to say? I'm bothering you, please. Okay, okay. What do you need to say to the camera, okay? Please tell <laughs> Don't go on the computer, please don't. Hey, you're gonna be part of it, end of story. Yeah, you need to be in the frame, okay? So we're gonna get down low so you're in the frame, okay? <laughs> Mind my cat voice. Okay, kitty. Oh, kitty, you're literally in my spot. We're opening up this bag. So I got, I went to this like, amazing website that had like all of the stuff um for clothes i was like this this winter don't sit on my computer i love you boo i was like this winter um i'm going to do black and white aesthetic um sophisticated girls you can see i'm definitely one and so i got like all these black and white shirts and pants and stuff and like this place like it just never came and um 
I like bothered them yesterday and they finally sent it. They did send one item already, which I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't tried it on. You can see what I was going for here. This is really probably not what it like. So this is the shirt and then it has like this black bow like that you attach. I mean, it could be nice. When I get myself together, I'll do an actual try on of all these, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So that's one item. It's from J. J I N G. The only thing is, I think their tracking link literally like put something on my computer, so I'd be a little cautious um, with that. Oh, she's making the biscuits. I think I need to get my tooth pulled like immediately. Okay, what is this? My kitty has no shame in her game. She said it's time to make the biscuits. Oh yeah, okay, so these are a pair of black street wide leg jeans that I got. I don't know if they'll fit me because my stomach's always bloated and I'm not watching my stuff currently, but they look nice. Oh no, this waist is gonna be too small. No, I think they actually might not work, but we'll try them on. So we'll see, because I felt like I was getting a lot of tops and I was like, I need to get some bottom for the tops, but really I don't need anything. I was just bored and wanted to <laughs> rebrand, um, as I do like every two months. What is this? <laughs> oh yes, I'm excited for this shirt. I hope it's cool as it looks online. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, I can't wait to wear this. Um, it's a black comfortable turtleneck with like a white, white like kind of like silk on top of it and then the back is just the black turtleneck i think this looks cute i think this is it feels very comfy so i'm actually happy with this i hope it looks good on um i'll have to try it on let you know uh if you want to see kind of like the content with everything tried on probably follow me on instagram for your best best but Ooh, i'm so excited you know me, well you don't know me really, but I love collars. I have an addiction to collars and and it's unhealthy. So this is a collared shirt. I don't like the texture, I prefer cotton over like polyester or silk or whatever, but if you unbutton it, this could be really cool. Good is light, so it's good for also like spring. So spring, fall, winter, we got you sorted in this black blouse. So you can see us going for the black and white aesthetic. I kind of like went on a black and white journey. <laughs> Ooh, all oh, right, okay. I will okay too, let's do this one first. I like the packaging, I'm really surprised that they have such a sketchy tracking link, but their quality of product is nice uh, for fast fashion, I would guess. Oh, I love it. Okay, I love a white silk top. This is good for spring, summer, and winter, all season, fall, all the seasons. It needs to be ironed, but other than that, I'm really happy. I wonder how it um, is tried on, but like, this seems nice, this seems cool. I do wonder how this thing will wash, but either way, I like it so far. This I purposely got, because I thought I ordered some tights from Amazon, I don't know where they went, but they were like fake Chanel tights, and I had an idea to like wear them with this stuff. This is cool, the only thing is though, no bra on the back? I can't do that. Uh, I didn't know there was a hole in the back, otherwise I like the idea of it because it's like this cool like white cinch dress, but I need a bra. Why do companies do this? Like, <laughs> you forget girls, I mean, I don't have those fancy bras that like do all the tricks, so I'll have to figure this out some way or another. If not, this will probably be returned. Okay, this is, uh, oh wow, it's small. Okay, so this would be good for high-waisted. I still like it. I would need uh, either no bra or strapless bra with it. And it's like this cool like sheer puff sleeve with like black in it. Very I'm sophisticated European girl. Okay? That's what we're going for. Um, I need a strapless bra. I'm gonna go get that at Victoria's Secret this week. Watch this this one. My cat's like, this is, oh yeah, okay. So again, I thought I was getting a lot of tops. So I thought maybe with my fake Chanel tights that I haven't gotten yet, I get a skirt. I don't know if this is gonna fit my lovely bloated stomach, but this is really cute, actually, and I would feel comfortable in this, but only good for like fall or winter. 
but I hope I'm not too bloated for this. Or let's just stop calling it bloated and call it fat again, because you know, your girl's up and down with the weight. Last one for real. What is this one? Oh, I think I know what this one is. Ooh. Oh my God, last and favorite one. This is kind of the thing that sold me when I saw like the ad somewhere on Facebook, which is these sleeves and this top. Yeah, this is it. This is it. I am going out this weekend, I don't know where, New York, and I'm wearing this. Love it, okay, so for trying stuff, go to my Instagram or I will do another video with that. Um, when I'm looking a little bit more put together. Tell them that you're the pretty princess. Tell them that you're the pretty princess, okay? <laughs> we, I got in the Chanel fake Chanel tights today that I wanted to wear with, it's blinding. Um, all of the stuff that came in earlier. So they're supposed to be one size fits all, not sure how that's gonna work, but it really does look like they're from Chanel. I hope they're not too big on me, but they look super cute. And then there is a white pair as well. Here's the white one. It looks pretty cool. Super cool. But anyway, uh, girl, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Stop rambling. Um, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. That would be really cool. I'd like to hit 100 followers by end of this month and then um, Followers subscribers, whatever it's called and then yeah, if you want to see more of my random like content and oversharing I'm on TikTok with two different accounts and Instagram uh, the Daily Victoria um, But yeah Cheers. Love you. Bye bitches And I want you to show me Can we get back on the same page tonight? Can